Hello, Gardener School. Your mystery reader is going to read Pierre, a cautionary tale in five chapters and a prologue by Maurice Sendak. I'll tell you my three clues at the end. Pierre, a cautionary tale. Pierre and his parents. This book was written and illustrated by Maurice Sendak. Table of Contents. Prologue and chapters one through five. Prologue. There once was a boy named Pierre, who only would say, I don't care. Read his story, my friend, for you'll find at the end that a suitable moral lies there. Chapter one. One day, his mother said when Pierre climbed out of bed, Good morning, darling boy. You are my only joy. Pierre said, I don't care. What would you like to eat? I don't care. Some lovely cream of wheat? I don't care. Don't sit backwards on your chair. I don't care. Or pour syrup on your hair. I don't care. You are acting like a clown. I don't care. And we have to go to town. I don't care. Don't you want to come, my dear? I don't care. Would you rather stay right here? I don't care. So his mother left him there. Chapter 2 His father said, Get off your head or I will march you up to bed. Pierre said, I don't care. I would think that you could see. I don't care. Your head is where your feet should be. I don't care. If you keep standing upside down, I don't care. We'll never ever get to town. I don't care. If only you would say, I care. I don't care. I'll let, I'd let you fold the folding chair. I don't care. So his parents left him there. They didn't take him anywhere. Chapter 3 Now, as the night began to fall, a hungry lion paid a call. He looked Pierre right in the eye and asked him if he'd like to die. Pierre said, I don't care. I can eat you, don't you see? I don't care. And you will be inside of me. I don't care. Then you'll never have to bother, I don't care, with a mother and a father, I don't care. Is that all you have to say? I don't care. Then I'll eat you if I may. I don't care. So the lion ate Pierre. Chapter 4 Arriving home at 6 o'clock, his parents had a dreadful shock. They found the lion sick in bed and cried, Pierre is surely dead! They pulled the lion by the hair. They hit him with the folding chair. His mother asked, Where is Pierre? The lion answered, I don't care. His father said, Pierre's in there. Chapter 5 They rushed the lion into town. The doctor shook him up and down. And when the lion gave a roar, Pierre fell out upon the floor. He rubbed his eyes and scratched his head and laughed because he wasn't dead. His mother cried and held him tight. 
His father asked, "Are you all right?" Pierre said, "I am feeling fine. Please take me home. It's half past nine." The lion said, "If you would care to climb on me, I'll take you there." Then everyone looked at Pierre, who shouted, "Yes, indeed, I care!" The lion took them home to rest and stayed on as a weekend guest. The moral of Pierre is care. The end. Your clues for the mystery re reader are number one. This is one of my favorite books. Pierre, a cautionary tale. Number two. I like to play the piano, and number three, I am one of the music teachers at the Gardner School. I'm sure you've guessed who I am. Goodbye.